Flames engulfed an Asheville home today. This is video sent in by a viewer. The house is on Edwin Place in North Asheville. Dozens of firefighters responded to get the flames under control. And News 13's Jerrica Insco is there. She joins us live with our continuing coverage. Jerrica. Larry, the fire was called in before 10 a.m. with several people reporting that they saw heavy smoke even miles away. Now, I was on scene this morning, and the assistant fire chief here in Asheville told me that the man who lives here was at home at the time of the fire, but luckily was not hurt. But it still caused quite the stir here in Edwin Place this morning. Oh, my God. The house across the street is on fire. Oh, my God. Seeing this out her front window, her cell phone video tells the story of this fire better than anything. I'm freaking out. People watch the home go up in flames in a matter of minutes. Several calls came in of, uh, of the fire. First arriving companies uh, reported heavy fire. Still a lot of smoke coming out from under the eaves. And hours later, those neighbors are still in shock. No, nothing like this, no. Uh, I don't remember ever having a fire like this on Edwin Place. And you can take his word for it. Tom Tomlin has lived right next door his entire life, keeping a watchful eye on the neighborhood for years. Then I went out and looked out the window and uh, saw the porch on fire, and it was blazing big time. Tomlin was one of the first to spot the fire that has heavily damaged this home that's a part of the Grove Park Historic District. The house I live in was built in 1922, and I think that house over there was probably about 23 or 1924 or something. It's a loss for this neighborhood and the man living in the home. I don't think it's going to be uh, repairable. But with no injuries and a speedy response by the Asheville Fire Department, they aren't counting their losses, looking at the charred remains. As you can see, fire officials have already boarded up this burned home. Now, fire investigators were out here for a couple of hours after the scene cleared, trying to figure out what caused this fire. And right now, that is still not known. Reporting live in Asheville, Jerrica Insco, News 13.